Welcome to the Paris vlog. It's been a very early start. I'm here with H&M. I'm a H&M studio ambassador, so I'm here to shoot the new H&M studio collection. I'm actually wearing the outfit right now because we're about to head out and shoot with a photographer. We did this, something similar in February, last fashion week. But yeah, so this is my look, I'll show you. I'm wearing the new trench coat. I absolutely love this. The trench coat is very me, so of course I had to pick this. And I've got these black jeans on, which are really nice. They're like a really nice wide leg, long jean. These are the H&M Studio shoes from the last campaign I just shot, and I've just got a shirt on underneath. But we're gonna head down now. We're here with the other H&M Studio ambassadors, gonna shoot collection. I'm here with H&M for the next two days. So we've got a few events and dinners to go to, and then me and Chiro are staying on for Paris Fashion Week, and we'll of course bring you guys along. This is what came to the room. This is a bit messy. This is the reality of having to check in and get ready really quick. But let me quickly show you. So I have these two ear cuffs that came very nicely packaged in this box. It's part of the H&M Studio collection, the Autumn Winter 2024. So these ear cuffs. I might wear these for the second look that I'm shooting because they're a bit more evening. We have these lovely chocolates by Louis Fouquet. They look like very fancy chocolates. Maybe we'll do a taste test later. And then we have this beautiful box. They actually gave this to us last time. I remember it's a rose and it is from the best macaron place in Paris, Pierre, Pierre Hermé. Look at all these macarons. Oh my goodness, the smell is incredible. And then in this bag from H&M, they've given us a candle, which is so nice. It will make us feel like at home in the hotel. It's rich mahogany. Oh, it matches my trench coat actually. So we have this candle and then this is the H&M studio Autumn Winter 2024, Paris, we're here for this. And this is the event that we're heading to tomorrow. And I'm excited, it's for, it's for the launch. So they're having a little party. And they've also given me these red sunnies, which I won't be wearing, but quite nice. Okay, should we head down now? Because I think everyone's gonna be downstairs waiting. Let's go. Let's stop and stare for a minute. shooting it's a rainy day in paris it's quite moody but actually quite, it's quite nice and we're shooting with a photographer and the pictures that come out from what i've seen they're quite cool and very different to what i usually shoot and like the usual style which is nice when we shoot with other photographers because you get a very different vibe because i normally shoot with true um, but we're on the bridge now i'm not sure what this bridge is called we're gonna just take some more pictures but it's just a full day of shooting so i feel like i never vlog properly when i'm doing shoots because there's not really much to show you but we'll get true to do some bts it's actually quite warm as well like even though it's moody and rainy it's very warm so it's it's nice but it sometimes gets a bit warm i also really like this trench nice Hello so guys, we are back in the hotel room. I've had a quick outfit change, so I thought I'd talk you through this second look. All H&M Studio, we have this blazer, which I love a good shoulder pad on a blazer. And actually, after this shoot, we're going straight to dinner. So this is also going to be my dinner look. I have these pants on from the studio, the same heels and then i've just got this alaya bag which i won't be shooting because it's not h&m because we're going to dinner i'm just bringing my bag with me and then i have this cuff this is h&m studio which is such a cool cuff i showed you guys earlier this is what they gave us in the room and i've just got my cos little studs on i think we're going to lavenue for dinner which i'm looking forward to because lavenue is that famous restaurant that everyone takes pictures at all the celebrities go to i think it's really hard to get reservations or something like that so I think, I'm pretty sure we're going there for dinner, which is going to be exciting because I've never been there before. So yeah, we're gonna head to dinner, but it's been such a nice day, such a nice group of people that we're with. But yeah, it's been good. And we're gonna head down now. This is my look for tonight. I 
Tower. It's sparkling right now. It looks amazing. I never get tired of the Eiffel Tower. It's raining a lot. So we're just waiting to shoot very quickly. And then we're gonna go for dinner. But this is just an amazing sight to see. Also, we just saw a proposal. Oh, they is, the limo is for them. It's for them. Oh, oh why were you guys all cheering for? Because they you just proposed. Oh, and you got the limo. I think you guys are the kids. Um, and we were talking about proposals in the taxi. We were talking about the proposals in the taxi. Yeah. Okay, uh, wrong way. Oh. Oh, I forgot I already did it. <laughs> ah, you're so funny. <laughs> guys i am getting ready to head out now we have a bit of free time today so i'm gonna put some earrings on before i head out yeah we have a bit of free time today before the h&m event so i'm gonna head out with charlotte to do some vintage shopping she said there was this really cool vintage shop she saw when she was in paris last time so we're gonna head there and then maybe we'll head to the usual vintage spots like valois vintage which I go to every time I'm here, basically. They have like the best selection of costume jewelry, like Chanel, they have the Birkins, Kellys. I'm just gonna put on my earrings. I'm gonna go for these Cos ones. This is how I travel with my earrings. These are not all of them, these are some of them. It's like a treasure of gold. This is a very old Monica Venida jewelry box travel case, and it has my initials on there. And I just throw in my earrings, like my most worn earrings. But today I'm gonna go for these ones. These are from Cos and I've been really enjoying wearing these. They're like a shell shape but they're like a chunky hoop. I have them in the gold and the silver. It's quite bright now in Paris. When I woke up it was really gloomy. I'm just really grateful that it's not raining because yesterday's rain was crazy guys. We were trying to shoot. Oh yeah I didn't really catch up with you after the shoot. So we're trying to shoot near the Eiffel Tower but the rain was insane and we went out for one moment to shoot and I think feel like that's when the rain got really intense and I was soaking wet um, and we had dinner at La Venue which was really nice I didn't realize that it's the same menu as the at Sloan Hotel where we stayed in London we vlogged that and um, I really like the food there so it's the exact same menu because it's owned by the same owner and like Hotel Costs, La Venue and at Sloan they're all under the same group which makes sense so I had a Tom Yam sea bus which was so delicious and the famous Alumets which is the really skinny like matchstick fries I think that's what Alumets means matchstick I think so. Quick OOTD. This is also from, this is a top from H&M Studio. This blazer is the one that I wore last night. I have my black Jacquemus jeans on. My Elia Ballet flats. This is the perfect outfit for strolling in Paris. The weather is like temperamental and it's also very comfortable. And then I'm just gonna bring my little, oh, I just, did I ruin my lipstick? Got my Alaya bag, which is just an easy bag. I love this bag so much. And easy to put over the shoulder because I have shoulder pads in this. Even with the shoulder pads, it still fits over the shoulder. So it's perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna head down now, meet with Charlotte, and we're gonna go into shopping and I'll try and vlog as much as I can. Although sometimes, I feel like when you go into vintage stores, especially when they're like small and quiet, it's a bit awkward to, vlog because i feel like people don't like it so i'm gonna try and get as much content as i can and bring you guys along i love it i think i need this yeah i'm such a khaki girl i love this i saw a tiktok where someone turned this into a belt you have to have a really small waist though you have to be like an extra extra small but that was so nice. Wow. I've not seen these clutches before. These look new. It's very chic. You know I love a snake print. This is so nice. Guys, look at the Romark look who I'm with, Charlotte. So nice. Wow. Heavy, this, I feel like you need this. Like it's empty, but I feel like if you put stuff in it, oh, it's so nice. it don't hurt your arm. It goes with your outfit. Oh no, that's dangerous. It looks so nice. It goes with your outfit, make sure to buy it. I love it. Wow. Make you try them. These are exclusive. I just love a print. Yeah. White bag. Yeah. Your shoes are nice. Thank you. Okay, so we are ready for dinner. We're at a restaurant called Sienna. We've not been here before. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my two pieces. This was in the H&M mall. The sheer skirt yeah. with the blouse. And then my black blazer. My H&M Studio Hills. And then my Maya bag. This is my look for the yeah. evening. And we're going to head to dinner now. But I want you to see the motion when I'm going into dinner. You can see how the skirt flows. Carrying 
Hello guys, we have checked into a new hotel. We are at Burat. We're at the Brat Caris. We've stayed here before we stayed here in June or July when we came here for the Ellie Saab Couture Show. So we've left the Esso Hotel with H&M and now we're here at the Brack for the rest of our stay. I am so tired for some reason. I just feel really like drained of energy. But I've quickly got ready because we are heading off to an event with Louis Vuitton, which I'm really excited for. So this is what I'm wearing for the eve. I have, it's like a cocktail event. So I've gone for this all black look. I realized when I'm tired or like just can't be bothered, an all black outfit is like my comfort outfit. So I've wear, I'm wearing this. I've actually worn this outfit so many times. You guys probably recognize it. It's my Norma Kamali one shoulder top, which I love so much. This is like a staple for me in my wardrobe because it's one of my go-to tops if I want to dress up or if I'm wearing it with jeans, it just always works. And then I have my Zara black maxi skirt on. And then for shoes, I have my Neos heels, which actually I love these so much and also have been wearing a lot. And then my Alaya bag. And I'm also gonna wear a blazer because it is getting a bit cooler now, but in the eve. One thing that I really like about the Brack is that the lighting in the bathroom is always so good. So I love coming here if we have any beauty campaigns to film. And we have a few campaigns to film when we're here. So I thought this was a perfect hotel to shoot in. So yeah, look at the lighting. Perfect every time. Also, this room is really different to the ones that we normally get. We have a terrace this time. I'm gonna take you guys outside because we have a view of the Eiffel Tower, which is insane. I'll show you quickly the bathroom because it's different to the other bathrooms we've stayed in, but this is like the full length mirror, the bathroom section. I've just done my makeup, my hair bag. So you've got the sink, the mirror. This is the toilet and then this is the shower. And then we go out. There's another mirror here. I really appreciate the full length mirrors because it's great for when you need to do a fit check. And then we have the room. True, say hi. This is our room. It's a bit smaller actually than the last one. This is a superior room. We've literally just quickly unpacked our stuff to get ready and leave, but we're both feeling so tired. But yeah, this is the room. And then outside. So I came out and I was like, oh, this is so nice. We have such a big terrace, especially for Paris fact that we have this space it's so nice and then i turn around and guys look look i can't believe this we have the most incredible view of the eiffel tower i can't wait to see it at night when it sparkles from our room it's gonna be so nice and this terrace is just huge and you basically have a view of paris so it's so beautiful i'm really gonna enjoy this terrace oh my god but there's so many wasps okay actually maybe i'm not gonna spend that much time there are so many bugs out there why yeah okay let's go now you ready okay The way it moves is just so. Yeah. It's like it's fluid, but it's not flimsy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like hard like that, but then it really like. Blows. Oh wow! I feel like I just fiddle with it. Yeah. So guys, I thought I would do an unboxing of what was in the Louis Vuitton goodie bag because if I was watching this vlog, I would want to know what was in here. And I'm quite good at guessing. So when I saw the box, I was like, I think it's chocolate, and then I could smell it. So should we unbox it? This is very fancy. It has a sticker on it. I'm just gonna rip it open. Oh, so it's like the Damier shape. Let me put my flash on it so you can see. This is what the jewelry collection inspired by. Wow. And it's dark chocolate tree, I can tell. Nice. You can like that. Should we do a taste test? Sure. Louis Vuitton chocolate. Mmm. It has bits inside it. Try it. It was good chocolate. So guys, we're gonna have a chill evening. It's raining a lot. A very rainy Paris. Um chill evening i think we're gonna order in i'm just really tired today i don't know why so is true do you know what it is i think when we go on trips you get socially drained because you're constantly with other people and as much as i love trips and i'm always so grateful to be on these trips like being on a h&m trip to paris is incredible but it just gets so tiring because you're constantly there from the moment you wake up to the moment you get to bed engaging communicating and sometimes your brain gets fried so i think that's what's happened so now is a day for us to just be together and sit in silence yes, and we've been watching sit in silence. It's we've been word. watching monsters on netflix which has been such a good show and we've been really enjoying watching that so i think we're gonna have like a netflix evening and just order some food in <laughs>
guys. I feel like I haven't caught up with you guys since the H&M trip. Oh no, I did. I showed you guys the room switch. So we're at the back now. Um, we actually switched rooms. And this is the exact room we were in last time. I think in June or July when the Elisa Couture show when we were in Paris. This was the exact room we were in. And basically, I like the room we were in, but I prefer this bathroom. So I asked reception if they had this room available and they have the exact room available, which is perfect. So we switched rooms. Yesterday... We didn't really vlog much, you just saw snippets. We tried to go to the row, the new store in Paris, but the queue was so long. And I think they were only letting two people, two people in at a time in the show. So even though it didn't seem like a very long queue where we were, it was taking a long time to get through that queue. So we actually didn't get to go because we had a lunch reservation and we went to Alfie's, which is an Italian restaurant. I don't really, it was okay. The only thing I liked was the Cacio e Pepe. So I wouldn't really recommend that as a restaurant to visit in Paris. Um, but it was nice, just chill vibes. And then went to YSL. Oh, and basically, okay, I picked up the loafers that you might have seen, I think True vlogs a little bit. There was a lady standing in front of us in the, the row queue and she was wearing the loafers and I saw them and I just thought they're such a nice color and I loved the shape of them and I saw they were from YSL because one of the loafers have the YSL logo on it. And so I went into the store, tried them on and I bought them, my first loafers. I'm just getting ready now to go to my Ellie Saab fitting. I'm actually wearing the exact same outfit that I wore yesterday. The weather in Paris is diabolical. It's raining so much. We got caught up in the rain yesterday. My hair went crazy. I'm wearing my H&M studio trench coat this is actually so perfect for the weather that we're currently in it's like that it feels like a waterproof material it's like a waxy kind of material i have this t-shirt on which is also from h&m studio the collection i love this t-shirt it has a really nice shape to it and then my jacquemus jeans and then my adidas trainers and i'm gonna bring my kelly when i'm in paris i always have to bring her she's like the paris baby this is my outfit i'm gonna head to the elisar fitting because I'm going to the Eddie Saab show again this season, which I still can't believe. I'm so excited. I think the show is on, yeah, the show's on Saturday. So today's Thursday, yeah. So I'm going to the fitting. So let's see if we can find something to wear. Um, we're going to head there. And then afterwards, I think we're going to grab some lunch. But yeah, I thought I'd catch up with you guys. So I felt like I haven't spoken to you. This Paris Fashion Week has felt a bit weird. I'm not sure why. I just feel, I think I am a bit burnt out. Um, because before we came here, we had a lot of projects to work on that take up a lot of time, which is why there were no uploads last week, which I'm very sorry about, guys. I feel like I've been so consistent. And then last week, there was no Wednesday or Sunday upload. But I just feel very overwhelmed with work at the moment. So me and Trini need to figure out some kind of better balance because I think I feel really burnt out, which is why on this trip, I've not been doing much content or vlogging as much. Yeah, I just feel a bit like, not like myself. I think I'm just really tired and drained. So hopefully things will get better. I think this is a bit, this is a very chill Paris trip. Like the H&M stuff was like full on two days with them, but now it's a bit more chill. I've got a fitting. Yesterday was a nice chill day. I only have one campaign to shoot here now. It's supposed to be two, but now I only have one. So that's fine. And then I'm doing the Ellie Saab show, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I haven't, I like, there's nothing else that I've been really going to. I went to the Louis Vuitton presentation. That was really nice. But like I said, in the last London Fashion Week vlog, um, I'm only really trying to go to things that I really want to go to and that I enjoy. And I think that also helps me to avoid feeling burnt out, tired. And it also just makes sense for me to only go to the presentations and shows of brands that I love and would love to wear or I'm intrigued by. Yes, yeah, so this is the look of the day. Every time I say this is the look of the day, I feel like saying this is the look du jour. Look du jour. From that TikTok family who do the outfits of the days. If you guys know, you know. My slick back hair ponytail. Uh, no jewelry. I've been really enjoying not wearing earrings. I feel like it just helps to have this kind of like understated off duty look. And which is weird for me because I always wear jewelry, especially earrings, but I'm kind of enjoying not wearing earrings at the moment. Maybe I'm just being too lazy to go into my jewelry box. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go now to the Ellie Saab fitting and I'm so excited.
They look comfortable. I feel like for this weather, yeah. this is like the perfect look. Okay. Yeah, I think with the bare legs. Isn't that so cool? I love it with the boots, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it. to the side of the bag. I think black's the only option, right? Yeah, this one. Oh, it's actually navy, but that actually even works even back. Oh, yeah. You can see it better in the light. And then. Sunny. Yeah. These ones are calling to me. It's giving boss lady. Who's into her florals? Yeah, what well, I like these. Yeah, things. I think that breaks up the the um the car key a bit. I think I found my look. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so okay. I love it. Yeah, you need to have a lot. Yeah, for sure. And I saw these boots. I was like, I want to wear these boots. Yeah. And this coat is just like, they're the last boots we have. Really? Yeah, I love them. We just got back from the fitting. I am so happy with the look that I picked. I feel like it couldn't be a more me look. And you guys know I'm obsessed with khaki and I have the perfect khaki coat. So that's on Saturday. And I hope it won't be raining because that coat is just so beautiful and the rain will ruin it. Even if it's raining though, it'll be fine. I'm just really happy I found something to wear to show. We're having lunch now. We're at this place called... Yeah, we are finding some Korean food. So we have some honey garlic chicken. This actually smells so good. Can you smell it? Yeah. It's like crispy honey garlic chicken. Can I have this crispy bit? Mm. So we've just got our beef bibimbap. It's like sizzling. And then I can never not order tteokbokki when I'm in a Korean restaurant. But normally I like it with cheese on top, but I don't think that was an option. And you don't like it with cheese on top, so. No. You're happier with this, but I love it when it's got cheese on top, but it's still so good. And I think we just got one kimchi john coming. So it's like a kimchi seafood pancake. And this is our, this is my brunch. I haven't had breakfast. So this is my breakfast and lunch. We just had the lunch at the Korean place. It was all right. I want to go there again. I prefer Sam Chic, which is where yeah. we normally go for Korean in Paris. Um, but we were saying that we fancy some matcha, so we're actually going to go to a matcha shop that is literally On the same a few road. minutes down the road. But yeah, this weather is crazy. You know what it is? It's like, so I, don't, I don't mind the rain, but it's just so difficult to walk. Yeah. And then like, if you're wearing the wrong shoes, for instance, these. I'm wearing my thing, like they have a bit of suede on it. Yeah, they're the only trainers I brought with me. Yeah, I just need to get like a mini skirt to wear underneath yeah. the coat I'm wearing because I don't have anything short with me to wear underneath oh it. God, yeah. And it's in case like the coat opens up, I don't want to be like, got nothing underneath it. You know what I mean? Everyone. I am currently getting ready for the Ellie Saab show. I thought we could do a chatty makeup get ready with me. I am really excited for the show today, the Ellie Saab show. Today is our last day in Paris. We're leaving tomorrow and I'm just really looking forward to the show. I love my outfit that I'm wearing. The coat is amazing. So I'm going to wear that and I'm also going to try to do a new hairstyle which I have not done before. A bit of a risk. That's why I'm getting ready a bit early. The show is at 4 p.m. But I want to get ready now so that I have time to practice the hair look that I want to do and then also shoot some pictures before the show so I'm not in a rush because I always feel like I'm in a rush when it comes to shows and I just don't want to be in a rush. So I bought some hair gel yesterday to try and do a hair, hair look that I wanted to do. I'm going to use this colour corrector that I discovered in Paris when I did that video of me trying viral makeup products the Huda Beauty corrector. I actually would love to know if there are any products that I can use to actually get rid of the discoloration. It's something that I've always had around my mouth area. And it is very common in South Asian, 
brown women. And I've also recently started using one of my favorite foundations that I always used to use. And then it kind of ran out and then I just never repurchased it. And then my best friend, she was wearing it the other day and I said, what foundation are you wearing? And she said it was a Too Faced. I was like, oh yeah, that was such a good foundation. So I straight away ordered one. I'm in the shade Caramel. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. Medium to full coverage foundation. And actually I feel like this is my perfect match. A lot of the foundation I use come up a bit orange and I think my undertone is not it's a bit more neutral because I really love and I always talk about the glossier one but actually when I use this in comparison to this this does come up a bit more orange so maybe I need to get a shade I am dropping everything in this bathroom oh my god and I always use this Lancome brush this is, I have two of these these Lancome double-ended brushes I think they're the best for foundation application so I realized I was talking to you this is going to be my third Ellie Saab show which I can't believe because I, the first one I went to was in is it February or March when I'm going to use my loved, very loved, very well loved Face Trace Contour Stick by Westman Atelier in the shade Ganache. I think this is my favourite contour. Yeah, this is going to be my third. So my first one was in February or March and that was my first ever show. It was raining. I wasn't dressed by the brand. I wore my own dress. I put pictures on here and the dress was by a brand called Shushutong, which actually they're such a cool brand. Yeah, that was my first show. So I wasn't dressed by the brand. I wore my own outfit, which I really loved. It was very rainy and cold in Paris and it was at Palais de Tokyo. That was where they, that's where they show normally and that's where the show was. And then the second show was a couture show, which was my very first couture show ever. I'd never done a couture show before, so it was such an honour. And I vlogged that so you guys would have watched that vlog. Um, attending my first ever couture show. And it, can you believe it was Ellie Saab? Like, that's insane. I wore this really cool blue two-piece set, which I loved. And that was my first time being dressed by the brand. And then they also are dressing me for the show I'm going to today. I brought you guys to the fitting. Um, and I mentioned before how like, Sometimes I do feel a bit nervous before going to fittings because I am not a sample size. Um, and when you go to fittings, the pieces are all in sample sizes. I think they're the pieces that were worn on the runway, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they're all sample sizes, size of the model. So I'm always like, I go in thinking, okay, if you don't find an outfit, it's like, don't be disappointed because there's a high chance that there might not be anything that fits me. So I was so surprised. I remember when I went to the couture fitting to find that two piece set that fit me. My waist is quite small. I've always had quite a small waist in comparison to my hips. So I can sometimes get away with wearing things that are not my size because it will zip up at the waist because my waist is like the smallest part of my body. But it's only if it's like trousers or something like that where they're like thighs will not let that happen so it just depends on like what pieces are available when i go to the fitting i'm gonna use this blush the hourglass liquid blush in the shade moment i've been really enjoying this blush i like this as a kind of subtle blush it's not it's not doing a lot in a sense like it's not in your face it's a nice peachy blush and i want my makeup to be quite neutral i mean i do the same makeup look every time but i don't want it to be too loud because the the outfit I'm wearing is a lot and I just want the face to just sit there nicely but not say too much, if that makes sense. I love how easy this blush is to blend and just move around in your face. So it depends on like, if there's certain pieces that will fit, I can maybe make it work, but it just depends on what there is. So when I went to this fitting, I was so happy to see there were quite a few pieces that I feel like I could have made it work. I feel like I want a bit more pink pink on the edges so I'm going to use my Pat McGrath blush in the shade Florotique it's actually I need to get another one I am literally using it to the last I don't think there's been a blush that I've ever had that's gone down to this amount which just goes to show how much I love this blush I'm using the Makeup by Mario my favorite concealer in the shade 380 I love this concealer so much as soon as I run out I'm going to be buying I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. One product that I have been using since that video I filmed in America, the viral makeup video. I actually really happy I filmed that video because there were so many products that I would never have used otherwise that I discovered and have incorporated into my makeup routine since. One of them being the Milk Makeup, the Jelly Blush. I love this so much, but it is so pigmented. And if I put a 
too much on by mistake it's very hard to cover so i don't want to take a risk today but i do love this you just have to a little goes a long way but i discovered this from doing that video and this powder which i've been using is the makeup by mario surreal skin soft blur setting powder in the shape three neutral peach i have been using this powder instead of my laura mercier and i actually think it works better with my skin tone um because laura mercier is great it's a translucent powder but translucent on people of color doesn't really come up translucent do they get makeup on me it doesn't come up translucent there'll always be a bit of whiteness to it and whereas this i think it being an actual color the powder being an actual color helps to really give like a flawless and good color to the face i'm happy with this base so i'm going to set it now with the powder i like to basically set my whole face with this powder because I'm gonna be shooting all day today and I want it to stay in place. I want it to look flawless and not too shiny. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Armani bronzer. This is in the shade 110. This is the Luminous Silk Bronzing Powder. I think the makeup thing for me is fine. It's the um, hair that's gonna be interesting. Cause I know how to do my makeup. Like I'm not trying anything new today. So don't have to be worried about my hair. Especially if I'm gonna put gel in it. If it doesn't look good, it's gonna be hard to work with the gel to fix it. For the last ASAP show, I did something different to my hair, but the reason I was able to do that was because a few days before that, I had an event where I tried something with my hair and I had done that and it looked really good. But then actually for the ASAP day when I did the hair, it didn't come out as good as it did when I first did it. So it's always a risk doing something different with your hair. The Vive Invisivel Setting Spray feel a bit chilly because true loves to have the ac on super high and i mean low yeah yeah it's has the ac on low so it's cold in the room and i'm always cold and he's always hot so okay we have the hair bag it's time to do hair i'm gonna take my ring off because i don't want to get gel stuck in there so if we're gonna brush it i've loved using this brush this is by philip b feels like a scalp massage we're gonna do a side parting. This is the gel that I picked up. I literally went into so many supermarkets to find a hair gel, and this is the only one that I found. Using this brush to separate, to create my parting. This is giving me deja vu of the Ellie Saab day. Or like, I did this on the last Paris vlog when we stayed here, but I normally do my parting on the other side. Okay, let me do it this way. Why do I feel so nervous? Doing my hair. I wish I had like a, like I knew a hairstylist in Paris that I could just get to do my hair. It's gonna be in a high pony. And then this is the bit that I'm nervous about. So I wanna have a bit of hair from here. Basically create like a pattern on my hair. So it's like, <laughs> oh God, I can't do this, <laughs> okay. I wish my sister was here. She literally did this hairstyle. That's where I got my inspo from, my sister. She posted a picture the other day and her hair was like this and I really liked it. And I wish she was here because she could just do it for me. But basically do something, okay. Let's think about this. Should I put gel? Okay, I should put gel in this. Then it'll be easier to move, right? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Just gonna use the tiniest amount of gel. Then maybe that will be easier to move it. Okay, yeah, that did make it easier. But then I kind of wanted to see what pattern I want to do with it. Oh, this is cute, no? Let me ask True. True? Yeah. Can you come here and let me know? I haven't finished it, but I just want to know what you think about this shape. I'm going to have my hair... Oh, it didn't even... That is cool. But is that going to hold? Well, that's the thing. So she said she used eyelash glue to... Yeah, that's going to fall. Keep falling on that. I need eyelash glue. Have you got eyelash glue? No. Because she basically stuck it down. Or you need a shorter strand. With eyelash glue. What, so you just stick that onto your forehead? Yeah, you stick it onto your face. Like this. Hmm. Should we get eyelash glue? Can't you hairspray that to set it in? But then I want to see what, so I'm going to have the rest of my hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay guys, I think I did it. I just need to figure out a way to make this. Day. What hairspray will do is keep it in the shape, but it's not going to stick it to my face. Ready? <laughs> That's good. Hmm. But it's not going to stay on my face. Yes, it is. Does it look like I've got like something <laughs> like from front on? 
think it's what, cool. Do you want it more? I think it's too much to the side. No, I think it's fine. <laughs> my other hair bands, wait. It's still on. on. Okay, wait, let's, let me do my hair in a bun. I think that no, works. it's not. Look, it just moved as I move. What do you want, like hair, hair glue? I, I don't think I need glue. It's eyelash glue. Do you not have any? No. So basically you need to buy eyelashes or eyelash glue. Okay guys, Tree's gonna go down to see if we can get eyelash glue and stick this down. Okay guys, there is no eyelash glue in the pharmacy downstairs. Did she even suggest anything? Like they literally don't have it. Oh, we need something that's like tacky, right? Eyebrow gel. Yeah, look, that's kind of tacky, isn't it? Yeah, try that. Okay, but where, how should I do it? On the underneath bit, yeah, just wipe it underneath. And then the long bit as well. Let's press it against your head. Is that working? I think so. But is this secure? Like, what is this? It's glue? not as brow gel. It's not a glue, but it's tacky. Brows freeze. But yeah. I think it should freeze. <laughs> true. <laughs> Let's see if Anastasia brow freeze saves the day. Okay, true. Then should I get ready and we can just start taking pictures? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna film TikToks now. I say TikToks, it's just gonna be a TikTok. Guys, I'm getting ready for the Elisab show. I'm so excited. I have the most amazing coat that I'm wearing to the show, which is perfect because Paris is actually quite cold. These boots are gonna make me so tall. I kind of feel like those, um, you know, the Henry VIII era, where they would wear these things. Ah, wait, wait. Cool. Also, I was thinking, do we do bag or no bag? Because I feel like there's a lot going on. I feel like it doesn't need a bag. Yeah, how would you pose with your hand? Because I was thinking this for one, like, Okay guys, I am ready for the show. We just took a few pics in the room before we head out. I am bringing this little bag with me because I think it is nice to break up the car key a little bit. Um, but we took some pictures without the bag and with the bag. And this is the look. I'm really happy actually that I did this hairstyle. I think it goes so well with the coat because these kind of give like swirly vibes and this is giving swirly vibes. And I think the eyelash glue is staying. I just hope it's not windy. If it's windy, then my hair's gonna just look crazy and I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. this early to a show before and it actually feels so good to be early and not stressing like we're just taking pictures meeting people like there's no rush we can just take our time and the weather is actually insane like look at the sunshine it's been raining every single day since we've been here and today is just the most perfect day like a mental note of things that I want to keep an eye out for the next show for the fitting because that will be so those outfits will be what you wear for the next season show there was there were lots of khaki which I'm surprised about for like spring summer yeah, lots of khaki and it's like yeah I loved it I really loved it. I am back from the show guys I'm so hungry because we only had breakfast today and then we started getting ready and it's like what's the time true 5 p.m and I haven't eaten I always do find, and this is true, I always see influencers say when there's fashion week they barely eat and it's true because you actually don't get the time to eat. Between getting ready, going to the show, shooting, shows always start late, like the show started at 4.30 and then getting a taxi after the show takes so long. I think it's like half five now. So we haven't eaten 
since 10 in the morning. So the hotel left us some madeleines. These are so good. They're like lemon encrusted madeleines. We're actually gonna head out for dinner. We're gonna have an early dinner because I have an event later tonight and tomorrow is actually hosting it. And I was sitting, tomorrow was sitting in front of me at the show today, I saw her briefly, but then actually she's gonna be hosting an event with Idol, the jewelry brand. I've spoken about them before. They do amazing lab grown diamonds and she has, I think an edit or collection with them. So we're going to celebrate that. And that's in the evening. So we're gonna go dinner. We're actually gonna to go to a spot we went to yesterday, but we weren't vlogging yesterday. And it's an Italian place that is so delicious. The food is so good. So we're gonna go there because we are such creature of habit. Also guys, my hair stayed. So the Anastasia brow freeze gel, it did its job because this did not move. And I'm really happy with how the look came out. The coat is currently on the bed. It's so warm guys, the sun came out. Ah, what a crazy day, but honestly, when I sit at these shows, at one point my heart was like beating really fast and felt really weird, but in a really excited, anxious way. But like, an, I can't even describe the feeling, but I was just sitting there and thinking, I can't believe I'm sat here. And I don't think I will ever take these moments for granted. The fact that I'm sat in, in a room full of amazing people, creatives, and then watching the show. Like, I can't believe if you told 15 year old Nuri I would be sitting at fashion week watching an Ellie Saab show. I just don't know what I would say. Yeah, just so incredible. I'm so grateful. I feel so happy. Shows just give me a feeling of happiness always. Um, so it's an incredible show. And I was laughing with True when I was coming out of the taxi just now because I was like, the doorman at this hotel must think like, who is this woman? Because the way I come to the hotel versus how I look when I go to a show is so different. And also just in general day to day, I'm so casual. Because obviously I don't have a reason to dress up. I'm always in my jeans, a t-shirt. But when it's a show or an event is when I dress up and it's like, you see two versions of me. And the guy at the door was like, bonjour. And he was looking at me and I think he just looked a bit confused. Like he probably recognizes true. And then he's looking at me like, who's this woman? Doesn't look like the same woman who was here yesterday. Yeah, I'm talking a lot. I think I'm just like high on energy, adrenaline. I'm just really happy, good vibes. The sun is out. We're gonna go get pasta and pizza. This place, it's a bit out. It's 10 minute drive from where we're staying, the Brack. It's a 10 minute drive from our hotel. Um, but I think it's a bit far up from Central, but it's good because it's not packed and the food is honestly so delicious. Mm -hmm. 